What is happening guys, Chris here and welcome to another video. Now today's video is going to be part one of a series of videos where I go through how I make a stencil. Myself and Paul, we both tattoo in different styles and we both make stencils completely differently. And I'm going to show you how I make a stencil for a realism piece or black and grey really realism piece, I'll speak properly, which is what this is going to eventually be. It's going to end up being tattooed onto this, which is a pound of flesh hand. But yeah, let's just uh, let's jump into it. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, just please remember, subscribe, hit the notification button. Let us know also when you're watching this video, if you make stencils by hand, give us a thumbs up. If you do it via an iPad, give us a thumbs down. So we have an idea of like what people do. Moving along with this video, because I'm nattering. So basically, um, it's pretty simple really. You know, what I like to do is I'll select my image pop it into Procreate. As you can see, I've got a shitload of layers I've been working on this design. What I will do is if I'm just creating a realism stencil, using Procreate, I will get the technical pencil. So the technical pencil is under the sketching tab and this technical pencil. So I'll get that. I'll usually have it set to red. So like if, if my image is like greys or whatever, then the, stencil, the pencil will be red. Um, and then it's just a case of making a map. And if we've done realism before then you'll know what i'm on about but i'll generally just create a map of the piece so i'm going to do that we're going to move on then to the next piece in the words of blue peter here's one i've prepared earlier so using the red pencil and the red technical pencil once you've made your stencil you should be left with something like this which is a broad kind of map some people do it less simple some people do it a lot more detailed than what i do i find over over complicating the stencil just makes it a little bit more difficult to understand when you're actually tattooing if it's, it's just too much going on one thing i will say and i got this from joshua carlton way back when i first started tattooing um and it was when he would like hatch in the area so i still tend to do that so using another layer, I'll just take where all, I know all the black bits are and I'll just kind of, you know, you mark those out. Now this, I would do this on the iPad if this stencil was being made and printed out with a brother printer. Obviously this particular stencil is not going to be made with a brother stencil machine. It's going to be made by hand. So what I would do then is I would do that when I'm actually making the stencil itself. So We've got this. Now, this is kind of can coincide with hand stenciling and the brother printer. What I do once I've made the stencil with my iPad is I will go into the magic wand tab, go to hue, saturation and brightness, click on layer, and then I will drag the saturation down on the crack layer, because I'm a spanner. Drag down the hue, saturation and brightness, there we go. Now, you're left with black lines. The problem is though, just like that, you might have an issue with them printing out. Now, not a lot of people will say, why don't you use a technical pen or one of the pens to do it? I just prefer doing it this way. I feel I've got better control over the lines with a technical pencil. So what I do is once I've got this kind of map there and it's all black, I will duplicate the layer. So you slide across, you duplicate the layer. And as you duplicate in the layer, the lines start darkening up and then I just merge all the layers together and there you have what will be the stencil ready to either print out on the brother stencil machine or what I'm going to do with this one so I'm going to print it out multiple sizes and then do it to fit on here but I'm going to stencil it by hand so that is going to be in the next video is how I do a hand stencil using traditional carbon paper or using Thermofax paper that you use for the brother stencil machines or normal Thermofax machines, Thermofax right there, or normal Thermofax machines. I'm saying brother because I've been using brother stencil machines now probably for about, well, I've known Paul for about 10 years, so I've been using them for about 10 years. Um, 
or nine years, I think. Might have been a year after they were rambling again. Anyway, that is that then. You can either print it out directly from your iPad, send it to your computer, resize it in Photoshop, resize it on you, print it straight onto a brother printer machine. You can also print it out straight from here, put it through a Thermofax machine, or you can print it out straight from here and then make your stencil by hand. Now, the reason why I recommend doing it this way it's because it's there, it's on your iPad. If you just print a picture out and you're making it by hand and you mess it up and you need to re-stencil it, you've always got this here. So what I recommend as well is when you've printed it out, just right in the corner, how well the percentage was. So see if you shrunk it down to like 50% or you've done it like 97%, so write it in the corner there, the percentage that you printed it out. So in future, if you want to say if it's a piece that you're working on and you're not doing any line work, you're not marking it in, and you're just kind of doing it as you go and you need to re-stencil it, you know exactly the size that you printed it out and it should be easier to reapply the stencil then. So yeah, there we go. That is part one on making a stencil. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I hope it has been informative for you. Part one of many on how to make, or how I, how I make my stencils with my iPad and so on. Um, if you have enjoyed watching it, remember, give us a, a thumbs up. If you have enjoyed watching it, subscribe, hit the notification buttons because we're going to be bringing up loads more content for you all this year. So yeah, thank you very much and I will see you in the next video. Now you've learned something. Goodbye. <laughs>